We have the joy of, of problem solving, which is a guided tour through our most beautiful and delightful puzzles. And I feel like, you know, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I feel like these are going to be goddamn Hellraiser Puzzle Cube nightmares of puzzles. Here we go. The joy of problem solving, colon, the intro to problem solving. <laughs> Use this course as a daily mental workout to strengthen your problem solving ability. What you'll accomplish. Oh, the only with the one thing I'm like. Explore a variety of problems that will stretch your reasoning skills. This is like the one where it's like, how many matches can you take away or rearrange or. <laughs> in the first quiz in this course, you'll solve a sequence of puzzles with physical props, chests of coins, and matchsticks. Oh, I can't wait. Finally, you'll look at how a simple puzzle can become a complex and rich exploration through a coin flipping game that isn't always winnable. It's like a metaphor for life, basically, man. Okay, joy of problem solving. If all of the statements are true, where is the gold? The gold is not in two. The gold is in one or three. The gold is not in here. Okay, well, it's in chest one. I mean... Do I really have to explain this one? I would like to know, uh... Let's, you know what, let's show that explanation. Explain it to me, like I'm five. The message on chest two tells us that the gold must be in chest one or three. But the message on chest three says it's not in there, so it must be in chest one. We did not need the information on chest one, which told us it wasn't in two. Yeah, that's, I mean... That's exactly the logical thought process I went through, so I would like to know the thought process of the 5% of people who've answered this question wrong. How do you get this wrong? Do you just get it wrong by just doubting the fact that it's a true statement? Where it's like, it says the statements are true, and you go, I don't buy that. That's fake news. End quote. Big Bird. And then you're like, it's going to be in three, because the gold is not in here is exactly what I would expect someone to say if they were putting gold in there. There is gold in only one of the chests. If only one of the messages is true, and the other two are lies... Where's the gold? It's not in here, it's not in here, it, the gold is in chest B. <laughs> I got this email saying to step inside the rainbow when I'd get some gold. You got um, um, Pixel Hat Pros. Okay, you want to talk about street smarts. Pixel Hat says you got to open the chest like Mario 64. Got to do them in the right order, otherwise they'll fucking tase you. So if, if C is telling us the truth and it's in B, that means B is bullshitting us. And it, this, is the, this is the one that with the previous one where it says the gold's not in here. Well, that's exactly what somebody who was hiding gold would say. Uh, Buster Keaton rules also thinking outside of the box the gold is in the heaviest one can you feel it? let's see this is a lie because it, okay if the, it's in A assuming chest B is telling the truth it's going to be in A because C is lying because it's not in here and saying it's in here but B is like nah bro you can trust me on this one I ain't got shit and then A is saying, oh, there's no gold in here either. And you're like, press X for doubt. So, okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> we found the pretty lady. We did it. Uh-oh. I hate these. In the, in the above image, there are two squares of different sizes. What is the minimum number of matchsticks that we have to move in order to end up with exactly three squares? The squares may or may not be of different sizes, but we are talking about squares. We're not talking about rectangles. Yeah, you just move two. You move, specifically, you move this one and this one, so they go like this. So you have just these three squares right here, and then this is just open, so you gotta move two. Ah, I don't like matchstick puzzles. I hate, when I was a kid, I hated this shit. From the above diagram, we see that in order to create one, two, three, and four congruent unit equilateral triangles on a flat plane, we need three, five, seven, and nine matchsticks, respectively. 
What is the minimum number of matchsticks on a flat plane needed to create seven congruence unit equilateral triangles? Be careful, this one is trickier than it initially looks. Okay, so this is... So we're making seven triangles. So we're doing one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven directly underneath it. And to do that, we need one, two, three, four, five more matches because these two are already here. So we just do like these two right here. We go eh, 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 and then one across the top. That's five. That's nine plus five. That's 14. You're telling me it's trickier just to throw me off and, and fuck with me. It's, it's 14 matches. <laughs> and we're, we're right back to 41% of people getting these correct. Last time, we, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty smart right now. Last time we did this, I felt like a goddamn idiot. No, but can we? You couldn't think of one more thing. Just what's the minimum number of matchsticks that can be removed to leave only three non-overlapping squares of the same size? All remaining matches should be part of a square. Every remain. Re remember, every remaining matchstick must be part of at least one of the three squares. Okay, I got you. So, uh. If we take all the ones off the bottom, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We leave these three up here. Or we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we leave these three, right? Four, yeah, that's seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's less than, wait, that's less than seven. Right? Yeah. That's less than so it's six is closer. One, two, three, four, five. And you leave this one, this one, and this one. Okay. I see. I see. Okay, when 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 you were saying top corners, I was thinking you meant like this one and then like okay. I was thinking matchsticks, not squares. I see what you mean. Okay. I almost got that one wrong, but we were sl I worked down from seven to six. Still the wrong answer, but you know. There we go. Oh, we leveled up logic. We're at level two logic now. Beautiful. Look at this. Probability. We haven't, I mean, we haven't made a lot of progress because I don't have a premium account, but. <laughs> uh, we can't look at this because I didn't upgrade. This is the last time we did the stream. <laughs> it's been six more months. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, let's go back to the courses. Yeah.